Hello everyone and Asalaamu As Alaikum. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. The weather in London today is absolutely beautiful. The sun's out and it's the right temperature. It's not too hot and it's not too cold. In today's video we'll be showing you how to grow these beautiful looking giant life utter, also known as mustard leaves. And as always, my dad will give you a quick update on the other plants we're growing. Without further ado, dad, let's start gardening. Let's start gardening. Life fatal or mustard leaves is one of the most nutritious green leafy vegetables with very high levels of vitamin A. It has many health benefits and it tastes absolutely delicious. Life fatal is a very popular leafy green in Bengali recipes. One of my favorite is mussel satni and life fatal shag. It tastes absolutely amazing and is making me hungry just by thinking about it and I'm fasting right now guys. Growing life fatal is very simple. All you need to do is scatter some seeds onto the ground or in some containers and all they need is some water and they will grow. But if you really want life utter this size, these giant beautiful looking life utter and you want to eat life utter all year round with just a few plants, let me show you the method we use. We're going to be using a small individual container such as this to sort our seeds in. Fill up your container with multi-purpose compost. If there's any bits in your compost, things like these wood barks, just remove them. Look how tiny these seeds are. They're so small, they look like little sand grains. You can buy life at the seeds online over the internet or in the UK, most Bangladeshi grocery shops sell them. So you can pick them up from there. Place about two to three seeds in one container, just in case one of the seeds don't germinate. Place the seeds about one centimeter apart. They're so small, you can't even see them. I place three seeds in this container. Now bury the seeds with a thin layer of compost. Now water it so the soil is moist. Let the water sink through. Yeah, that's enough water. Now keep this in a bright warm place. Hopefully after about two weeks, you will have beautiful looking seedlings this size. These seedlings are ready to be planted out into the ground or into containers and pots like we did over here. If you're going to be planting them out into the ground, don't plant them too close together, space them out about a foot apart. They're not picky, water them regularly and they will grow fast. Hopefully in about few weeks, you will have beautiful looking huge life utter leaves and they'll be ready for you to enjoy them with your masan satni and other delicious meals. Now let's give you an update on our other plants and what we've been up to. Now I have planted my first Khodu plant, my first bottle gourd plant in this uh, container uh, and in this greenhouse. And I've taken a little risk. The night temperature is still a little cold. I think last night it dropped down to about 4 or 5. But um, it's not too bad. If the night temperature outside is about 4 or 5, inside the greenhouse it will be about 7 or 8. At least few degrees warmer inside the greenhouse during the night. Okay, looking at this plant, it's looking nice and healthy. Mashallah, it's looking very beautiful, I must say. Uh, it looks settled down and I'm hoping this, this strings here will start holding onto this bamboo cane and will start trailing upward. And I'm hoping in about three or four weeks time, 
this plant would have trailed up to this trellis here and in about six weeks time we would have beautiful looking hodus hanging from this trellis and I'm really looking forward to that day. I've also planted a few cucumber plants in containers. These are cucumbers uh, for the greenhouse. These are not the outside varieties. So I still haven't sown my cucumbers for outside yet. I'm hoping to sow them this week and I'm hoping they would be ready for end of May, beginning of, beginning of June for me to plant out. So these are special varieties to grow inside the greenhouse. So I planted a few already in containers and I'm going to be planting some in grow bags sometime this week. And I'm hoping five, six weeks time we're going to have beautiful looking cucumbers to enjoy. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please like the video and please share our videos with your friends and family. As you know, sharing is caring. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do something amazing and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload. And don't forget to leave us a comment letting us know how you're finding our videos. And for those of you who are fasting, enjoy the rest of your Ramadan. Stay safe. Asalaamu Alaikum. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Happy gardening. Asalaamu Alaikum. And I'll see you in the next one.